before joining WIP, my life was a mess. There was nobody who was beside me, even the family. They rejected me after the death of my husband since they knew that I am HIV positive. I was always alone, sitting alone, crying day and night. Being that I was a single mother, HIV positive, and I even thought I was going to die, no food, no rent. Even paying school fees for the children was also a disaster because I couldn't afford it. Once I entered the WIP Center, I come to realize that God has a plan with me. I was taught the word of God there. They provided for me my food, my rent, my children were taken to school. I was told about how to, get, to take care of myself and my health, how to take my ARVs. I started to have hope in my life and I started to progress. I joined the WIP classes. And life started changing slowly by slowly. I became now a person. I graduate through tailoring program. I go to uniform making. Even the dress I'm wearing, I made from those skills that I I acquired from my whip. Also, I was taught farming and poultry keeping. And I started getting support uh, in 2015 when I, I was in high school from three and I was able to finish my high school together with my college. They supported me very well. The first born is in Nairobi University, graduating in December. My second born has done nursing at the Kenyatta University. They took me through the school and I'm happy right now i um, been employed as a whip doctor in HART. I remember uh, before my internship, I had to do an exam before that, so they supported me to pay for the exams until when I was able to pay for myself. We have become Tumeza kuwa attractive. Tumeza kuwa watu wa we have become Tumeza kuwa ones who were nothing wale ambao hawakuwa walikuwa bure to ones who have shining faces. Na sasa wale ambao wanaangaza nyuso zao. Amen. 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 God has begun a good work in each one of you. Yeah. And no one is going to steal that good work from your life, your family, and from your children. Yeah. And God is going to bring that work into completion. My dream in future is to become a business lady in Nairobi and outside the country so that I can leave a legacy in my family and in my community. My dream is just to empower many, many women outside there, not in Kibera alone, not in Nairobi alone, all over the country. I want, to, I want to be a neurosurgeon. That is my passion, my dream. Education is the greatest weapon anyone could use to change the world. And I believe that I'm set on the journey of changing the world for the better. Amen, Amen, God bless everyone who is in heart, everyone who is contributing to heart and this program. The theme for this year by heart is celebrating life. Ujumbe wa mwaka huu wa heart ni kwamba ni kusherekea maisha. And therefore we take that word. Kwa hivyo tunachukua hilo neno. And hold fast to it. Na tunajishikilia kwa nguvu. That we are victors, not victims. Kwa sababu sisi ni washindi, sisi si washindwa. We are victors. Not victims. I never dreamed that we would be sitting here today. And I didn't do this alone. I didn't do this alone.
God gave me many people. Mungu aliweza kumpa watu wengi zaidi. He gave us uh, workers here. Akaweza kumpatia wafanyikazi hapa. And he gave us partners from America. And on behalf of Jubilee Fellowship Church. Na kwa niaba ya Jubilee Fellowship Church. Heart is the gold standard of organization. Heart ndio inachukua ile gold standard. Tunaema kwa tujipitie mafundi. What impressed me about heart is you see the solution. Lakini kile ambacho kilimfurahisha sana kuhusu heart ni kuona kwamba heart inatoa suluhisho kwa shida za Kenya. The solution is for you to be healthy. Na ile suluhisho ni kwamba nyinyi muweze kuwa na afya. To take care of your own kids. Muweze kuwatunza watoto wenu nyinyi wenyewe. I pray for each of you ladies. Ninaomba kwa kila mmoja kila mama hapa. That you will rise up. Kwamba mtaweza kusimama. To be the leaders. Muwe wa viongozi. Of heart. Wa heart. And I have great confidence. Na nina tumaini kubwa sana. Heart is just going to go forward. Heart heart itaendelea. And you're going to do even more and more. Na tutafanya mengi hata mazuri zaidi. We're just at the love. Sisi ni gloves too. A glove in the master's hand. Yeye Mungu anatutumia vile ambavyo mkono unatumia glove. He used me but I was I'm only a glove. Yeye alimtumia yeye na ukumbuke kwamba yeye alitumika kama glove too. And he'll use you too. Na wewe pia unaweza kuchukua. Kukuza pia. Change lives and be very important life. So believe it. Mwanzo kwa bidii hivyo. Okay? Thank you so much. I love you all. Very much. Asante sana.